if you could give a, uh, an angler, an aspiring pro, uh, any advice, what would it be? Number one is they're not going to pay you to fish. I mean, you just got to get that out of your head that, oh, I'm going to go out and win a tournament and people are going to pay me to win that tournament or for winning that tournament. It just doesn't happen. What you need to do is take and look at what you like to do when you're fishing, what your strong suits are, then figure out whose product you like doing that with, and then figure out how you can get the word out, how you can teach people about that product, because that's what sponsors will pay you for. If you can do social media about that product and, and do a real, I mean, it's not fake. It's, it's just telling people how you fish um, and then build up a little bit of a catalog of that and then go to a sponsor that they can see, hey, this guy really does use our product. This guy really does like our product. This guy really has, can talk about our product intelligently. That's good for our consumer. That's what sponsors want. They want some somebody to explain how to use their stuff, basically, and, and not just, you know, kind of fluff, kind of, oh, yeah, I cast it out and I caught, you know, a fish. It's how do you apply it to different situations? And and uh, so it's, it is work. It's just a lot of work. The good thing is, is these days it's so much easier than back when we when I started. Back when I started, we, we had to get a magazine writer. We had to convince a magazine to run our articles. Um, you know, we didn't have internet. We didn't have uh, uh, social media. We didn't have YouTube. We didn't have all of these things. You can kind of go and do it on your own now. You don't need to necessarily do a TV show anymore. You can get out information about what you do in other ways. And there are anglers who do that very successfully. So, um, you know, that's one thing. The other thing is, as I'll tell you, go to, go to tournaments fish tournaments for this local club tournaments or regional or, or the national ones, if you can get up to that. And, and if you do well, look at that as a, as kind of a diploma, it's kind of a college education. Again, nobody's going to pay you to go to college. What they're going to pay you for is what do you do with that information, that credibility you've got, that, that knowledge you've gained through these tournaments and have proven through your finishes, what can you do with that to actually help teach people how to fish? And it, it's not a pretty message, I guess. It's not a glamorous message. It's here's the work you got to do to make some money. So that's what yeah, I've no, always done. No, it's, it's, it's reality. It's great advice. Um, and if you're an aspiring pro and you're not listening to this man right here with that advice, you're making a grave mistake. <laughs> I've had a I, I've lot told of... you that, like you've also you've got a hell of a business sense too. Like I mean, you've you know yeah. you you were the you were the the business mind I'd say behind the next bite, right? And you just you just were really you know um, you're just very good at that. Sensible. You you, I mean, like a business, treat it like a business. <laughs> Yeah, because that's what it is. It, it's it's absolutely that. Thanks for watching this clip from another fishing podcast. If you want to listen to the whole episode, all you got to do is click the link in the description or to watch the full video, become a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash angling uploaded.